Hi you guys! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use mesh stencils from Evil Cake Genius and royal icing on edible fabric sheets. Okay, mesh stencils are amazing. Um, Evil Cake Genius has this little tutorial that you should definitely watch um, before you attempt to use their mesh stencils because you have to do, you know, some thinning of your royal icing before you use them. But I'm going to show you quickly here what I did with mine and how it worked out beautifully for me. So I have this Royal Icing Mix by CK Products, which makes Royal Icing, Royal Icing super easy. I have my Flex Frost sheets, um, which are edible fabric sheets. I'm using the original, which is just white. I am making a bed sheet for a cake project that I made. Um, I used one half cup of the mix with one tablespoon plus one half teaspoon of water. Okay, that's basically following the instructions on the bag, and it makes a thick, thick royal icing. Now, to thin that down, I'm also adding one teaspoon of liquid whitener to that. Okay, so it starts off a thick royal icing. I'm adding a teaspoon of liquid whitener to that amount of royal icing, which is going to thin it out a little bit on its own. And we need to do that. We need to add some whitener when we're using our mesh stencils to our royal icing to make it opaque. Then you add the color of your choice. I used um, this yellow gel color, and that will thin it down even more. Now, if it's not thinned down, to a drippy consistency for you, you might need to add a touch more water. You don't want it water thin, but you want it drippy like this. You want it drippy thin, just not as thin as water, okay? So that's the idea. It, you want it dripping off the spoon, but you don't want it as thin as water, okay? Again, add a tiny bit more water to your royal icing if it's not quite thin enough. All right, I have my edible fabric sheet. I am placing my mesh stencil over top. Now, I'm a little bit lazy, so <laughs> if I were you, I would actually tape down that royal that um, mesh stencil to my surface so it doesn't move on me, like mine just moved here. Oh, and it moved again. Look at that, because I'm a putz. But it actually... Oh, I think, oh, look at that. I moved it again. I mean, what an idiot. Okay, you don't want to do that. You don't want to move it once you've got it placed. But I actually picked it up. This is my first time using a st uh, mesh stencil on edible fabric sheet. It did not go through, so it did not ruin it on me. But I do think that you really, it would be smart to tape that down to your surface so it doesn't move on you. Yeah, be smart. Don't be like me. <laughs> okay. I've got it on here and now I am just using a palette knife to smooth it. Go in one direction, one direction like the boy band. <laughs> super funny today guys, sorry, I'm super funny. Um, go in one direction along the stencil to make sure you cover the entire area. I am again making a uh, bed sheet or a bed cover for this monster under the bed cake that I've made, which I have um, tutorials for on the Cake Heads website. If you are a Cake Heads member, you'll have access to all the tutorials, how to make the girl, how to make the bed, how to make the cake. Um, come on over and join us if you're not a Cake Heads member already. We have a lot of fun over there and lots of cool stuff to look at. Okay, I've spread my royal icing over the mesh stencil. Now I am using this very cool plastic scraper that Evil Cake Genius sends with all of their mesh stencils to scrape it off, the excess off. I have to be very careful on the edges there because I don't want to get any yellow off the edge of the purple and onto my edible fabric sheet. So I am, I am flirting with disaster there, <laughs> uh, but it worked out. I didn't, I didn't get it over the edge. But you want to scrape it down um, so that you can see all of that purple pretty well. And now I'm going to gently pull it off of my edible fabric sheet. And voila! It was fabulous. It was awesome. It came out perfect. I was so happy. I had the right consistency. This was my second shot. My first shot uh, was too thin. Okay, so this um, this consistency worked out perfectly. I let it dry and so it wasn't tacky and then I put the little film that comes with these flex frost sheets back over top of it and I actually put it back into the flex frost package 
um, so that I could seal it up until I was ready to put it on my cake project because I didn't want the sheet to dry out on me I didn't want the royal icing to dry out on me too much um, I was worried it was going to crack but the good news is doing it this way I don't know if it would have cracked um, to begin if I hadn't put it back in that bag f while I was waiting but once I took it out and then I um, placed it on my project it did not crack at all the royal icing did not crack at all I was kind of nervous about that I wasn't sure how royal icing was going to react on these edible fabric sheets with moving them all around like this but it didn't crack at all it was perfect and beautiful and super easy and very cool these mesh stencils are very cool and you can use them for all of your cake projects where you want to add stripes um, so many different ways you can use them so I really love them and if you're a Cake Heads member, from a month from the launch of this tutorial, you will get a 15% discount on this mesh stencil um, on when ordering from the Evil Cake Genius website just for one month from the launch of this video. Then there will be other discounts and other tutorials for other items from Evil Cake Genius. This is, that was the Monster Under the Bed Cake Project that you can find all the tutorials for on Cake Heads and become a member. Join us. We help everybody troubleshoot when they get stuck we help them get unstuck answers to problems it's a great group with hundreds of tutorials on the site and so much help for all of your cake issues come and join us we'd love to have you with us thanks for watching guys see you later